Ooh, what is up you guys and welcome to UBL Team Builder Week 4 versus OP Jellicent and his Toronto Leaf Storms. Now, if you see my Team Builder video, or not Team Builder, but draft preview, you know already that I'll start off with a few losses. I actually start off with 3 losses going into this and it is unfortunate. Uh, it does require us to win some games and you know I'll do my very best to do just that. Um, the team matchup is quite tough, um, I'll be completely honest here, as my team is as follows, you see um, Sarah Aura, Virizion, Turin Black, Gligar, Skunk Tank, Jardos, God of War, Chandelor, Scizor, Barbarical, and Beware, and um, straight off the bat, uh, against my opponent here, it's not only faster, but it's offensively more capable, I would say, with a really solid few defensive checks. Uh, we see Axelgo, Crobat, Miwal, Megalodios, Kubilion, Manaphy, Go guys, Sangos, Road and Wash. I was gonna say with Heat, of course, he powered on and Gramble. But yeah, I'll say the main threats for my team are always gonna be Manaphy. Um, meanwhile, it's always tough for me to switch into. Uh, that's not gonna go away. Uh, he powered on is very, very bulky, and while it is passive, it's still very hard for me to deal with. And of course, Rotom Heat makes my Mega Scissor unusable for this matchup. So there are a few kind of shaky aspects here that I need to keep in mind. However, with that said, this is the team I'm bringing. All I should say, beware, I'm, I'm trying to get a proper um, proper screen for my team builder. It's This is not what I'm gonna go with, but due to shortage of time, this is the best I got at the moment. It, it, it's not that classy, and I'm, I know that, and I feel a bit ashamed of that. Uh, first comment here is God of War, a choice card variant with... Um, uh, it's timid, of course, that speed. Uh, Axel Gore, I think it needs to be close to max speed timid, so it's, it wasn't pretty to create this set. Um, the stats, like I said, this is this is where we <laughs> this is where we are. Um, and he actually doesn't have necessarily a moon blast switching besides his Rotom Heat and um, um, his uh, Crobat, which, granted, Crobat is quite frail, so I'm not worried about going for moon blast versus that. And then we healing wish and memento. The idea here is that either go for healing wish to heal up any Pokemon that could have fallen behind, or memento to allow a, a sweep for Jardos, which is really really ideal for this matchup. Uh, but overall, that's the easy cop out with uh, Guard War. Really really easy set and uh, should be regarded as such. It's an easy Pokemon to use this game. And then we have Sarah Aura, which is a northern nature. Um, actual offensive variant here, we have Grass Knot actually to be able to deal with the Hippowdon, but besides that, uh, we should outspeed everything besides Crobat and Axelgo. Uh, Crobat, I don't believe, is gonna be uh, jolly anyway for this matchup due to me having a Zero, or it makes more sense for it to be adamant, uh, which means that we should be able to outspeed it no matter what, and um, just overall, um, this is a set that really, really punishes switch-ins, and um, this combination of moves here are Plasma Fist, Close Combat, Knockoff, and Grass Knot. Uh, hits pretty much everything super effectively besides Gramble, which I feel is shaky to come, but it is an aspect I'm gonna be having to, have it into, of course, reconsidering. But besides that, um, it does feel real right here. Uh, I do fear Gore Guys to an extent here, mainly because it can burn me in return, so that's something we need to watch out for. Uh, then we have Mega Scissor actually. Uh, the issue was that no matter how I twist and turn this team, I'm going to have two Pokemon that are weak to rocks. Two Pokemon that needs to be relevant, healthy, so near a defogger. Skunk Tank was not ideal versus this matchup, though, though it had its its merits, but also Glisco or Gligar, I mean. Um, while good, uh, it also had what I would say matchup issues with me while being able to potentially knock it out. So we are going with an adamant set here just to be able to really, really, really... Uh, take out some damage output here. We are not necessarily that offensive. Uh, we do have a fair amount of bulk and a fair amount of special defense. The special defense here is basically to take uh, Hidden Power Fire from Megalodios and Excelgore. They're going to carry it. Um, I'm not going to be willingly able to uh, stay in versus them, but if I'm forced to, this is what we're going to cop for. Uh, we also should be able to take um, plus 3 Surf or Skull from Manaphy and U-Turn out if we are at full HP when we need plus 3. Um, series of combination move here are awful, as they aren't necessarily effective versus a team. It's the fucking aspect that are the important part. Uh, we have a root to be able to potentially stall out things, and we have bullet punch and U-turn. Uh, this combination should make me very viable. Um, I'll lose versus Cobalion if it's a sword stance set, and then again if it is a sword stance set, eventually it's gonna go for close combat, and I believe U-turn should do a fair amount of damage, but not ideal. 
absolutely not ideal. Um, then we follow up with Curan Black. Um, this is a Pokemon that actually could work quite well. Uh, we have Shuffleberry to be able to take a low kick, even though we're a lonely nature, um, because we do need extra damage output on the Fusion Ball, because we are, all things considered, especially offensive, because Earth Power, after all, hits uh, like a bomb on a Rotom Heat, and that's what we want. Um, and I don't want to sacrifice any special defense, because we are specially defensive here. Uh, this... The speed output is to creep any type of a Rotom that could potentially be speedier, uh, though not a fully offensive one, because I don't fear the fully offensive one because of our special defense. But besides that, this is a Pokemon that should do relatively well. Uh, we are able here with our special defense to take a plus three Dazzling Gleam. Um, it should do roughly over half, if I'm lucky, depending if it is modern or timid. But overall, Mana Fee shouldn't be an issue here, because I do expect an extent here Mana fee to be able to deal with um, Serora, so it could potentially have Walk on Berry. And if so, um, Curran Black could pop that before I need to, of course, risk Serora. That's that's the idea, at least. And attacks are as follow Ice Beam, Roost, Fusion Bolt, and her power. Nothing really to it. Then we have the Beast, the Monster, the Jardos, the Vault Heart. Um, one of my absolute favorite Pokemon to use in the League concept, mainly because it does sweep so easily. Uh, we are Jolly Nature here only for Axelgor because, after all, it has Bug Bus. And while it doesn't hit us super effectively, it does hit us through sub. Um, and overall, plus one should really secure any KO I want to go for. Um, we have Fly MC to guarantee a KO on the Mega Latios when I have plus one. Um, and that's about it. Like, I have no necessary bulk on this Pokemon. I shouldn't necessarily need to either. And we have Bounce, Waterfall, Dragon Dance, and Substitute. Uh, now, Substitute is quite risky. Crobat has Infiltrator. That's an aspect that I'm going to have to consider. But it also is a Pokemon that I can substitute against to keep my sub and take it out afterwards. Um, we'll see how I pan out. But overall, this is a set I like. And uh, use it far too often. I'll most likely keep doing so. But the coup de gras is the beware. I really, really, really wanted to use Kutcher, my beware, for quite some time. Loved it in the Saudi Generation 7. Never used it in a League concept, even though it is so nice. Uh, but yeah, Kutcher here, its aspect is to kind of fall upon being a Saltfest variant, which is able to soak damage. We we are fluffy. I was considering Klutz just to bait uh, Rotom Heat, but then again, Rotom Heat can have Will-O-Wisp, and then it kind of falls apart anyway. Basically, I wanted to bait it for Overheat and not be KO'd. But it seems kind of risky. The stat distribution is offensive. A lot of the, the defense as, uh, to an aspect, but special defense is up there. I don't need to creep anything. The thing that would speed me will outspeed me no matter what. Um, but yeah, just this soak damage and really well. The combination here is quite simple. We have return, drain punch, ice punch, and facade. Facade in case I get burned somewhere down the line. But drain punch, just to kind of recover damage. Basically, we do some type of... Uh, Lesser ideal um, Conkeldor here. I was considering superpower, but that lesser my effectiveness versus the matchup because I'll lose defense. And Facade is basically there if I get Thunder Wave, but Gramble, for example, uh, or he powered on goes with some stealthy, toxic, and whatnot. It, it could work in my favor, though it, it's mainly there actually for um, Rotom Heat doing some dumb stuff. Um, but yeah, overall, we can take easily a Draco from um, Latios, we can take a Psyshock from it, we can take a Dragon Pulse, um, we can take a Surf from Manaphy at plus 3. Uh, there are a few really, really interesting stuff here. Meanwhile, Low Kick does almost 40% on us, we can retaliate really well. The only Pokemon that does kind of force us out is Crobat to an extent. But overall, I believe this is the right team to use, and I'm feeling really comfortable. Uh, if not winning, at least have an honest chance of finding this team, which is actually so far undefeatable. So, a bit worried, to be honest. So, this is the team we're going with, and like I said, somewhat comfortable. <laughs> I'll be honest, i put that forward. But overall, um, if I see the team from his side, what I would have brought if I were him, uh, I'll definitely, like, Rolling Heat makes so much sense. Because it deals with Jardos, it deals with Scissor, it deals with Beware, which I think are main threats versus me. So Rotom Heat, absolutely making it. Crobat, good speed here, can U-turn, that's gonna be annoying. Uh, Meanwhile makes a ton of sense too, Mega Lodios make a ton of sense. Uh, and then it basically Manaphy and Cobalion, which one makes it out of them. 
Kobalion, if it comes, is going to be a stud rocker. If uh, you know, that's the only reason to use a Kobalion versus me, um, because I do believe I deal with it fairly well. So I probably have optimized myself for Powdown just to really make sure that Sarah Aura is a potential threat. So to an extent, if a Powdown is coming, then that's the stealth rocker. Kabalion can be a and sweeper if that's the case, but I feel that's unlikely. So yeah, ideal team is Crobat, Meanwhile, Male Audios, Kabalion, Manaphy, and Rotomite. Um I, I could absolutely be wrong about this. <laughs> of course I could be, but that's basically my thought process. Uh, I really hope that my opponent over predicts and um, if they can bring in Verisian versus this. Uh, a Scarf Verisian to an extent makes sense, but yeah, I feel it was kind of risky due to Gore Guys. And actually, Gore Guys alone, that's a scummy Pokemon to be forced to be dealing with, especially with a Verisian. Um, so, yeah, with that said, I really hope you guys are following up for the upcoming battle here. And with that said, enjoy. So right, the team preview. I I'll be honest, the thing I'm seeing here, while I am to an extent right, I do also see not Rotom Heat, which I was so surprised about. This threw me off quite well, mainly because it does allow um, Mega Sa Scissor to be, I was going to say Beedrill, Mega Scissor to be quite viable here. Surprisingly viable, uh, as I still am to an extent walled by Cobalion anyway, but we see Axelgore. As I said in my team builder there, if that Pokemon is going to make it, it's going to make it with Hidden Power Fire. So Mega Latios and Excelsior is going to absolutely have that and be able to deal with Scissor. Uh, because Scissor is such a good natural response versus them, so it makes sense. But besides that, I feel I have the right team here. There really aren't that many things that threaten me. Uh, I actually decided to lead off with Beware versus this, mainly because Kubelon doesn't win the matchup, Excelsior doesn't win the matchup, Mega Latios can win the matchup. Crobat don't win the matchup from the get-go, Meanwhile doesn't win the matchup at all, and of course Manaphy will only win the matchup after a tail glow. So it's a very safe lead, and it can potentially knock out the lead depending on what it is. So really with that said, let's go into the match. So from the get-go here, my opponent is going to lead off with his Cobalion. Which is awesome. Like, he either goes for close combat and loses his Cobalion, or he goes for Stealth Frogs or Volt Switch. That's the only place. As he goes for Stealth Frogs, that's fine. I need to find a way to, of course, defog, clearly. But we do retaliate with Drain Punch here. Um, now, I have one issue here, and that is that if he goes for close combat here, I will knock him out with Return. But I thought he was going to try to preserve his Cobalion, as Sack Plane seems so. So unfortunate so early, but for what it's worth, that doesn't happen, and we knock out Cobalion and have a beware at, well, not full HP. And Labrad comes in, the Crobat, and um, I'm gonna switch into my Serora. I was fearing, you know, what if, what if it goes for U-turn, but it goes directly for a Brave Bird. And uh, me being, well, pretty darn, not chunky here, but... Uh, I thought that, you know, he's not gonna sack his uh, crowbar at all, so I'm actually gonna go for a uh, knockoff. But, it turns out that uh, he outspeeds me, so I'm thinking, right, it is Jolly, right? And we go for knockoff. Uh, it, it isn't Jolly, it's absolutely still adamant, but he has choice cough. So I was feeling, alright, he's not gonna sack play his crowbat, I'm gonna bring Alyssa, uh, get a get-go here, potentially healing which up my Serori, but he actually stays in. And not only that, he goes directly for a Brave Bird, and it turns out... Adamant Braver from Grobat is enough to KO <laughs> my poor, poor Guard War, and um, this was not this was not a good start. Uh, so I'm gonna go with Fulgore, bait him for Bullet Punch. I'm gonna go for Safe Defog. Uh, I expect him not to have Heat Wave here, since it is an Adamant set or you know potentially Jolly. As he goes to Ultimate to Manaphy, um, and I don't fear Manaphy. If he goes directly for Scald, so be it. But I can U-turn versus this, and if he goes for Dale Glow. I'll get some type of momentum here, and since their aura is so low, um, I kind of pretty much, since he confirms Tinglo, gonna bring Sarah Aura in to pop the berry, because I am so sure this is a berry. If it isn't a walk on berry, that in theory means that I'm gonna knock this Pokemon off no matter what, and it feels really weird to go for, for a setup already. But, hell, we, we predict that right, that it's the walk on berry, it also is to an extent backfire on us because the dudes lose Sarah Aura, which we lost by default by losing Guard War. Guard War's main job here after all was to either set up a sweep for Guard War 
or <laughs> Jardos or actually um, potentially get a Pokemon that is Wheel of Down up again, but we fail to do that as Galvatron, which can easily take a gasoline, gasoline, dazzling gleam, dear lord, gasoline gleam is something new, uh, but can easily take that and uh, we're gonna retaliate with a fusion bolt and that will be the end of Manaphy. So all things considered here, while we are 4 for 4, the main threats that I didn't want to deal with are dealt with, but I'm also lost the Pokemon that should be able to recover for us. Now Gateway comes in, that's the Mega Laudios. My easiest switching here is to go to my Mega Scissor and potentially take the Draco or Psychic or whatever he decides to do. I absolutely didn't predict him to go for Hidden Power of Fire here. Uh, so he go for Dragon Pulse, so that's a good thing. Dragon Pulse means it doesn't have Draco. And uh, that's really all we wanted to see, as uh, I can't take a Hidden Power of Fire from this Pokemon at all at this range. I'm gonna bring in Volhard, basically uh, I have the lead way to take this quite well, and I can set up. I can absolutely set up. Um, depending on, he could have Thunderbolt, if so, yeah, then we're in a sticky situation. But he switches out, go to Labyrinth, Versac playing that, as I go for Dragon Dance. And here is where I do a bit of a, I would say, misplay, but the intentions are good. I easily fought from this range. I can take a Brave Bird, um, and I guess I could, but I don't. <laughs> so I wanted to keep my substitute to get a potential sweeper, depending if Meowth was scoffed and whatnot. We don't get that, and uh, I put myself in a very, very, very strange place. And not only that, due to me bringing Galvatron here, I potentially lose no matter what here versus what I switch into. As he goes for the save Dragon Pulse, I can, like I said, switch in Beware. However, I can bring Beware in and force him to sack play the Lodios because I can take a Draco. Is whether or not he has Psy Shock. If he has Psy Shock, that's a wrap, basically. Uh, but he goes for Dragon Pulse, which is fine. <laughs> we soaked that quite well, and we're still in this game. As we go for Ice Punch, and mm, it isn't enough. I get a crit. <laughs> so, <laughs> clearly in my favor, definitely needed that to kind of invite myself into the game again. We will make a sister left, however, we are at a fair amount of HP and we can still take a hidden power from Excelgore. So, you know, I'm, I'm feeling cocky here. We should be able to wrap this up. Uh, so we're gonna knock out Mega Laudios. Excelgore, meanwhile, is the only one left. Uh, my opponent here goes to Excelgore. Bullet Punch will not knock it up because we're not fully offensive. However, I do expect this Pokemon to be Sash anyway. As uh, he goes with hidden power, fire, and we are still in! <laughs> We're gonna, of course, knock out Excel Go. Me was the only Pokemon left. The only way our opponent here is gonna win, and I mean the only way, is if it goes for Night Shot. Right? That's the only way. As um, we're feeling the pressure. But he doesn't have Ice Shot. We get the Bullet Punch going, but unfortunately, it is, of course, Sash. Why wouldn't it be, right? And we will gonna lose this game 1 0. But in hindsight, I think this is a very fair 1-0 because I do mess up this game so much. So right, a few afterthoughts to just kind of share my perspective of this game and just how I felt it all fell apart for me. First and foremost, I really should have attacked what was in front of me. My opponent here allowed me to KO Crobat very early in the game. He allowed me to get really high damage on Cobalion to knock it out very early on. He was sack playing those two Pokemon. I failed to realize that uh, because, after all things considered, he, if anyone, should have not known that a Brave Bird versus Zeraora would not guarantee knock him out. And a Plasma Fist would have absolutely have eaten him up. Not only do we go for knockoff here and get his scarf off, he actually decided to stay in even though he was in range of getting KO'd now that I absolutely guarantee uh, was outspeeding him. So I thought myself that that was strange, but at the same time, it did allow him to get a massive momentum and my old predictions in the beginning of this game is a very big reason I get pretty far behind unwillingly. Um, that said, the only aspect is of course Yaro should have attacked Crobat or not. Let's say I attacked it. Fine. That would have been Meowth comes in and then would be debatable whether or not a knockoff combination or Ice Blue Trash together with his eye shot would have been enough to knock me out since we already know it was. Um, or what do you call it? It was sashed. Um, because I don't believe I could have survived, survived that combination, uh, even if I did, uh, or actually if I did, I win the game, basically, because I have C-Bounce and Moxie, but I can only speculate at that point, I really can, 
and it just, I don't believe that combination would have allowed me to sweep the game, because that would have been Meanwhile survive, that would have been Scissor comes in, Scissor got Meanwhile, Mega Latios comes in, do I sack play um, Kieran from that point? Who knows, I might as well sack play Scissor, going for a bullet punch, and hope that Beware was able to um, wrap up the game from there, which it probably wasn't, because I did get a crit on Mega Latios, and I don't believe uh, Bullet Punch would have done enough damage to put in the range of a neutral Bullet or Ice Punch versus that. So it's only speculations, but in the end of the day, I lose the game because my opponent plays it very risky, but more so that I don't attack what is in front of me. I have a momentum, I have the means of really big momentum, and I overpredict and give it away. Um, those are very hard things to kind of cover for yourself, uh, because had I, like I said, Healing Wish with Guard War, Sarah Aura would have been extremely effective further down the road, and I don't get that aspect. So all I really can say to Obi Jellicent is good fucking job, man. Um, I don't know if the, you predicted those risks or not, but no matter what, you are rewarded for it. And being balls hard is sometimes a means of winning games. And this is why he is now 4-0. He has win all his games 1-0, and I believe he clutched them all. And this is absolutely another clutch. And I'm feeling very, very, very defeated by this. I like I said, I'm. I didn't believe I was going to lose this game, how this started, but then stuff happened that I couldn't explain, and now that I look at the game again, I just feel, why didn't I do that? I should have responded as a normal human being should. <laughs> and that's the reason he wins, because he is playing it very, very, very much in front of what he has, and he it just worked. And <laughs> it's, it's impressive, to be honest. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this game, and I really hope I didn't overstay my welcome about the explanation. I just felt I want to cover my thought process, because it's so hard watching this game and just thinking, Dude, what the... Well, fuck, of course. Uh, anyway guys, thanks for watching, and take care. Bye.